Kizos on the Echina. Este, me coeste, como se vira. Pasto ese noche. I'm not here to tell you another story about the war and northern aggression. Everybody has their own version and each differs from the next and I'm sure we'll be fighting about it till the end of time. No, I'm here to tell you about the loss and sadness that came after in the year of our Lord, 1869. The time when the peoples of Virginia were beaten and impoverished, pretty much at their wit's end. A time when faith in anything seemed to be a whisper time of broken hearts and souls, the kind of time old Scratch looks for to send in his collectors to prey on the weak. I've heard it said there were nine gates to hell in this world, and I'm here to tell you, brother, one of them somewhere in Hatchet County, Virginia. Come on, Sheriff, you can't fight him like that. I gotta try it my way, Captain. You're right, Sheriff. Let's get it. It's our town, Nat. We got to protect it. Sheriff? Soldier, defend the town. All right, Sheriff. I'll be praying for you. Get it now. He's gonna get himself killed. And chose his path. We can't do nothing about that now. Regardless, we bought us some time. Yep. It's far enough, Shaw. Put the axe down. Let's call it a day. Nice, no, Sheriff. We still a little hungry. Thundercloud, what you got in that bag? Spooky. Indian magic. This ain't no time for jokes. It's no joke. Medicine will take time. All right, then. We'll give it to you. Hezekiah Shaw, put the goddamn axe down. Tilda Benson told me to put down the axe, Sheriff. She said, put it down, don't chop me no more. She said, she said, I need my legs to live. Put it down, Hezekiah. Pray for salvation. Hezekiah can't hear you no more, Sheriff. Yeah, well, you take one more step and I'll put one in your brain, Hezekiah, or no. <laughs> Are you going to tuck tail? Not me. You got the medal for this? Yes, sir. Out of town, I'm tech. All right, then. One shot. Ready? Ready. One, two, three, four. So, which one of y'all gonna make us drop it now? Ha! 
Hallo, hinau, Suki! Dearest Frida, it seems like it's been forever since July. Stillwater is so beautiful at that time of year, and we always have such a wonderful time when we visit. I hope we're able to make it back up for Thanksgiving. Cyril and Chan Sen seem to be adjusting well after Nat moved to California in August, and there hasn't been a peep out of Virginia City in four years, so our holiday chances are looking good. Shadowhawk feels like home again, Frida. People are coming back and settling in. I think God, in his glory, has carried us all beyond the nightmare. With that said, Cyril still watches the town like it's a newborn baby. For a man who never wanted to be sheriff, he sure does seem to hold his devotions close. But I guess it's behavior like that that made me marry him. On a sad note, please say a prayer for Thundercloud and his people. It's been two years since we had any contact from him, and all the news we hear about the situation with the Cherokee just seems to get worse and worse. Wyatt will be interested to know that we received a letter from Captain Robert Shaner three weeks back. Seems he moved up north last September and is attending Princeton University. He wanted us to make sure to tell Wyatt that the Washington Monument still has a ways to go. Give my love to everyone. God bless you all. Your loving sister, Claudia. Your name, stranger? My name is Pastor Theodore Weed Jackson. I'm here on a holy mission to spread the word of equality through God. Good luck to you, brother. God bless. It all goes back to the weakness we're born with. Uh, so you're saying we're born to fail? No, what he's saying is we're all born with the same weaknesses that we have to overcome on this plane to get to the next one. You think you've never been to church. Mm -hmm. Our goal in life is to make it to heaven. Be godlike, Bonnie. See, that's blasphemy. No, it ain't. I say be godlike, not God. And that's impossible. No, he means be a man of God. In order to be a man of God, you gotta be a man oh, first. Kiss my ass, Sheriff. Your head's so full of that engine rain dance bullshit and that shit you learned from Chun Sin. Barney, you're out of line. Jesus, Henry. I damn near took the sheriff's ear off. Well, I'm sorry, but this here is kind of important. You mind taking a step outside for a minute? Henry, you mind telling me what the hell the problem is? Well, there is a fully armed colored man outside, suspiciously walking in the road. 
Yeah, he's right, Sheriff. You might just want to take a look at this one. <sighs> I can't get a damn shade. You're gonna have to come back. I understand that. Come on, I'll show you. Alright, okay. Speak on quality through God. Well, you, uh, you couldn't think of a better way to enter a strange town. Walk under the arm of God, my brother. Have no fear, man. Okay. Uh, you know, Shadow Hawk ain't your normal type of town. Pastor Theodore has asked for sanctuary for a few days to preach his message. Then he'll be on his way. That's fair enough. Like I said, Pastor. Shadowhawk ain't really your normal type of town. Well, that's a good one. You want to tell me why you didn't come get me? The story checked out. No need. You didn't find anything particularly odd. Any more odd than a Chinese man standing guard over a town called Shadowhawk? Just, just do me a favor. A anything that reaches that level of oddity, could you please come get me? Y yes, I'm very aware of that. Everything okay? Yeah, it's just a holy man looking for sanctuary. It wasn't no big deal. Yeah, he didn't look like no holy man to me. You really do amaze me. How long you lived in this damn town knowing about to judge a book by its cover? He Man's just... got a solid point. You just get all this shit finished. Yeah, you just love being right, don't you, Sheriff? No, I don't just love being right. I gotta be right. That's my job. And shit. Hold up, Mr. Billis. You know the routine. I've only been gone a week. Ten days. Come on, hand over the bottle. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. I'm too drunk. Hey, won't you come and get it? Oh. You think you're a slick, don't you, rice bowl? Oh. You know? You and the sheriff think y'all so damn big, and I'm head, sick of it! Ah. Ah. All right, Mr. Billis, <laughs> in them arms. <laughs> God damn, boy. How'd you get so fast? Beating up drunks like you, Mr. Billis. comes again. You might want to raise your arm up this time. Way ahead of you. I wonder what's the matter Sheriff. here. Sheriff, please don't be mad at me this time. I, there's a real emergency on our hands. Why do I believe you? Well, there's this young lady. She's she's all beaten up like the Holy Ghost got kicked out of her. And all all right. bloody and... All right. Baby, I won't need your help. Well, let's at least clean off your face first. What the hell is going on in here, Chan? I found her like this just outside the edge of town. You ever seen her before? Mm-mm. The second she comes around, you come get me. We'll figure out who the hell did this. Walter Billis did it. He sure did. I did not! And that's why Chan Sin was giving him a whooping. That's right, Sheriff. I don't know who hurt this woman. Walter was getting a beating because he's a drunk and because he thought he could take me. All of this can wait. All right. I'm gonna get the preacher and somebody get the doctor, please. I'm already here. The chance in, Sheriff. Can't believe you people have the audacity to stand here and squabble over silliness while this woman lies on my table. Don't worry, I'll stay with her. Okay, thank you. Lord. Let me tell you something, drunk shit. 
you stay in my eyesight all day long. If I look around one time and I don't see him, I'll string your ass up. Do you hear me? What you got in here? <coughs> do you hear me? Yeah! Do you? I do! Handle this. I didn't hurt that woman, Sheriff! Gentlemen, I need your help. What's wrong, sir? I don't like that look on your face. We found a lady outside the edge of town. She's beat up real bad. Tell me, may I be of any assistance? Yeah, you can come with me and tell me how good you are at that 44. <clears throat> Let's check on her. Make sure everything's peace, all right? You just don't dally. All right. I'm gonna need to ask you a question or two. That's fine. You see anything strange when you were coming into town? About five miles back, the road to Virginia City had a bunch of keep-out signs posted on it. Did you keep out? Indeed I did. Maybe feel obliged to let me know what's going on over there. Maybe you should let me ask the question since I'm the sheriff. Fair enough. You mind telling me why I said holy man's walking around with a piece like that? Well, sir, it seems that the South's been plagued with sadness and poverty. And at the moment, men just don't seem to be themselves. Some sort of force to be ready for about anything. Yeah, I'll buy that. You want to tell me why you're dumping holy water on it in the church in my town? Well, I've heard rumors about this area. What are you hearing? It seems that people are saying that the devil's walking through the woods of Hatchet County. Does that scare you? Like I said before, you need to get about ready for anything. Spreading the word of love is sometimes a dangerous job. Uh, that's true. So you don't know anything about this woman? Not at all. Why should I believe you? You already believe me. This is just a formality. Well, Pastor, you could definitely use some more God around here. May I get started? You may. I appreciate it, Pastor. Gun away now, Doctor. Black son of a bitch. You raped that woman. I did no such thing. She called you out, you're a goddamn liar. Drop that gun, Pastor. Who's gonna shoot me? Be that as it may, give me that piece right now. Shoot his ass, Sheriff. Shut up, Ronnie. It'll be a hanging. Everybody, shut up! I'm the goddamn sheriff and I run the law. I could have killed him. I understand that. You're gonna need to come with me. I'm about to do me, sir. I'm about to put you in jail. The reason I'm gonna do that is that's the only way you're gonna live through the day, you understand? All right. I know it ain't right, but that's the way this game's gonna be played right now. Back off now. Back off! Oh. Yeah. Oh.
Sheriff. Suppose you know a lot of people in town little steamed up by our new resident. Why are you and the boys here? Well, Sheriff, you've always done right by this town, and... I don't know. I figured I owed you one. Stand by you. Never judge a book by its cover and all that, you know. Thank you, boys. I'll leave the duelies in Barney. You stay here and protect the town. Henry, watch the sheriff's back. Be careful, bud. Well, what the hell do we do now? That's a very good question. Just give me more. I thought you were going to give me one. Nope. Please? No. Please? Pay your bill or take a hike, Billis. Well, fine. And I hate you. Good. Now take a hike before I get wedge on you. <laughs> take care. I got this one. You sure, man? Positive. She won't be cheap for her liquor. I'll show you who boss it is. You want a drink? <laughs> yes, ma'am. I sure do. <laughs> Come and get it. Okay. Oh! <laughs> You crazy hag! <laughs> you gonna get your ass kicked again, huh, Walter? <laughs> she gonna fall the floor with you. Take a walk, Billis. Never, ever again. <laughs> Dang it, Walter. Do you have any common sense? Oh, shit. You ain't gonna start hitting me, are you? You are drunk as piss. Come on. Hey! Oh. Oh. time, Henry. Oh. I ain't gonna hit you, Walter. Huh? Ain't you sweet? <laughs> you got a real sturdy long handler. <laughs> Go home, Billis. I'm sorry, shit. Damn it, Henry, I don't need this from you tonight. Get yourself cleaned up. I believe that man's got the devil in him. Nah, Henry just had one too many. Nah, I'm talking about your Mr. Billis. What do you think you know? Cyril, don't start. I've seen my share of madness. I think I know when a man's going over the edge. You don't know nothing. Why do I get the feeling there's so much about this region you ain't telling me? Probably because it is. That really ain't any concern, so why don't you just go back to reading your Bible? Are you gonna stand guard over me all night? Yep, that's the plan. I suppose I'm supposed to say I'm grateful. Sheriff. 
Maybe get him some water. Mm -hmm. Walter Billings, don't you think you've had enough to drink for one day? Say what, preacher? Come on down to the church and sleep it off. I hear you. You know, you always did like taking care of us town folks. My pleasure, son. <laughs> So let me ask you, are you really this nice? I well, don't really understand what you mean. Well, let's be honest now. I've been a real asshole all day. And I can't imagine why you'd want to help me. You are one of God's children. Well, maybe it's that, or, or maybe you're doing this out of some obligation to God. Or maybe you're just trying to get me back in the church so you can dress me up like a little girl. You really are a hopeless creature. Me? I, I can, can see into, into your, your soul, soul preacher. preacher. I know what a hopeless creature is. He's, He's a, a man, man who spends, spends his days and nights living in the fear that it happens this land. <laughs> Do you think that enduring this fear will buy you a ticket to heaven? Well, all I can say to you is this. Hold on to that fear a bit longer. Preacher! Everybody just stay back. No, that's my uncle, Sheriff. Kenny, folks. You rotten son of a bitch. Kenny, bird. get off of him. You heard him and I'll smear you all over this goddamn county. Really? Henry, people's done come back to town. can save you. The seven faces of evil will thrust this world into a darkness never before seen. I smell food. Thank you. Get back in the house, baby. Yeah! Go back in the house and get me my plate, you filthy bitch! 
I'm sorry, baby. I meant to say I love you and get back in the house. At, and um, go over to uh, doctor's office and check on our patient. I don't think they got any more sleep than we did. Of course. Then go back in the house. <laughs> Your efforts are pointless. Best to let her die now. That way, she can't be properly judged. If not, I will be licking her naked body in the oily pools of hell. <laughs> back in your bar, Michelle. Dr. Costello? Dr. Costello? It's set up. What? It's set up. Go pull the duck's foot, let the pastor out of jail, and give him back his gun. I don't think that's a very smart idea. Don't you argue with me, girl. Shag it, Henry. Tell him to put on the armor of God. Yes, sir. Michelle, go to your bar and arm up however you arm up. Um, why? If you want to be a part of this, now you are. You love the Lord. Sheriff says it's time to put on the full armor of God. Sheriff, I, I can't help but notice he, he not, he's not dying. Yeah, I noticed that too, Sam. Go back on in the bank. Stay in the bank. You boys run home to your mama. Go on. Run fast. Hey, Claudia? Why don't you come outside for a minute, sweetheart? I need to show you something. What the hell happened here? How'd she die? 
she was killed with an axe. <coughs> the evil's back. We should have never left the town. Claudia! Come out here right now! Kill Dr. Costello. That ain't him no more. Is that the evil? That's the evil. Did we just commit murder? We didn't. He was already dead. Sheriff. How is that possible? Sheriff. I don't have time to explain that. You people go back inside! Sheriff. Robert, get your sneaky ass inside! Sheriff! Jesus, God. Claudia, come on down the steps, honey. Just get away from her. Let her go! You're too late, my dear. <laughs> I'm going to keep this tasty one for a while. Don't you get caught up in a word now, Sheriff. How good are you? Ready to find out? You follow my lead and you don't stray. You got me? I got you. already dead.
They move in such tiny ripples of faith. Soft, yet listless. Dear Captain Shannon, my name is Pastor Theodore Wee Jackson. I am writing to you on behalf of Sheriff Cyril Johnson and the once good people of Hatchet County. It pains me to tell you that the evil your band of heroes once expelled has returned. Also, it has manifested itself into something far more horrifying than anything I could have imagined. Sheriff Johnson was injured in a firefight in a losing effort to defend Shadowhawk. His recovery is positive and free of infection, but sadly, Cyril's wife, as well as several others, have fallen victim to the evil, and we haven't seen Chan Sin since Shadowhawk fell. This land is dying, and no one is here to stop it. Cyril, four others, and myself are currently with Oliver Graves. Sheriff Johnson says you know where his cabin is located. We are broken. We need a leader. Sheriff Johnson said you know what to do. I have done all I know to protect the area and shield us in the name of God. I have blessed all weapons, personal items, clothing, and just about everything I touch. I find that silver is quite effective in putting the evil down. We will be armed and ready for your arrival. May you travel in the armor of God. Sincerely, Pastor Theodore Weed Jackson. All right, there's one about 25 yards to my five. Another about 20 yards to my nine. And one down the road a piece to my one. You boys, give it a rest. I'm the one you're waiting on. Take me to Cyril Johnson. Let's go. Morning, Oliver. Good morning, Captain. It's damn good to see you. Likewise, Sergeant Major. Pastor Theodore Wee Jackson, I'm the one that sent for you. It's a pleasure to meet you, Pastor. Likewise. Been doing a little studying on my own. Got a newfound respect for men of the cloth. I'm real glad to see you here. Glad to be of service. 
Must be Cyril. Indeed. He's got a real subtle way about him, don't he? <laughs> Pardon me. Morning, Captain. Cyril? You know, you didn't file the buildup off of Oliver's gun. Well, you never gave me the chance. You here by yourself? Yeah. That's unfortunate. Did you ever show up? No, sir. He might still be out there somewhere. No, sir. It was him what came up with the plan to run here if anything ever went wrong. If he ain't here, he ain't coming. So, you're up at Princeton, huh? Yeah. Not much law breaking up that way. I'm spending my time in seminary. Really? Yeah. Seemed like a next logical step. Got the finest theological library in the country. <laughs> so you really gonna be a preacher? After you've seen what we've seen, brother. Can't hardly help but turn to God. Yeah, God's been a real help around here lately. See him giving you the strength to keep going in this mess. What are you doing? Me and Henry just truing everything up, sir. Sure ought to be doing that. It don't matter. I don't follow. They know we're out here. I mean, preacher set up a perimeter with crosses and blessings and stuff like that. So it keeps out the little things, but... Honestly, think the worst of them are holed up in Shadowhawk, just waiting for us. Well, I get your reasoning. Why the rest of them here? You remember Matilda Benson? Matilda Benson. So you see the one Shaw chopped the legs off of? Yes, sir. Yeah. That was Henry's mama. Hmm. What about the rest of them? They got their reasons. I couldn't ever talk none of them into leaving. Where are you shooting? Still got that dead eye. Never could out shoot you. Yeah, that's the only thing I was ever good at. Not true. You made a fine sheriff. Now that's bullshit. I lost my wife, my best friend, and my whole goddamn town. You did everything a man could do in your position. What do you mean, get shot and run? That will be enough of that talk, soldier. We didn't do the job right, we sir. We did everything we knew to. We didn't do enough, sir. We cut the man's head off, buried him 10 feet in the ground. You and Chan Sin set up watch. You tell me what else we could have done. Gentlemen, please. You weren't part of this conversation, Pastor. Still got his temper, don't he? He's been particularly edgy ever since he got out of bed. How long was it before he started in on y'all about a plan to go back? As soon as he could open his mouth. That's right. Yeah, Ciro came to the conclusion that the rumble in Virginia City was fatally flawed due to the absence of God. Said we'd have to come up with a better plan before going back to Shadowhawk. <laughs> Bad gentlemen. So, Captain, where the armed troops? There will be none. So, am I supposed to assume there's going to be no holy support either? 
That's correct. You mind telling us why? Fear. Oh, 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 oh. Henry, why don't you take him down to the shed? You uh, might want to stand back. Good lord. Who are these poor people? Citizens of Shadowhawk. We're hoping to turn them around. Exorcism? Pastor tried all he could. But, uh, well, you see what we're dealing with. How in the world did they get here? We captured most of them. We found some of them eating game. Some were attacking us. All except Lady Michelle. She fell under the scream of lust while we were out hunting for deer. Forgot to carry the word of God with her. Now I've seen her. Yeah, she used to be a part of the Traveling Western show. The more family was around up. That's right. That's Michelle Heathenbottom? Mm-hmm. I saw her knife show back in 67. Yeah. Yeah, that's her. Nowadays, she owns a bar in Shadowhawk, or used to. You good? Yeah, yeah. Let's get some food. Put some silver in that gun. And the ripple becomes a wave. You see how they walk in their armor with no back? Dear Reverend Brand, the situation here is far worse than I ever could have imagined. The region of Hatchet County, Virginia, is truly cursed. All the animals have either fled or gone mad. The trees have shed their leaves a full month before schedule and the entire landscape appears hollow and infected. I've seen firsthand near a dozen caged individuals who were crying the tears of possession. And the entire lot hissing and groaning with evil tongues. Only a handful of faithful remain, and they are beaten and tired. At sunup, seven of us plan to march on the evil and silence it once and for all. I pray to God for strength and guidance. My failure in the past consumes the lives of the innocent still, and I won't rest until I see it vanquished firsthand. If you have received this letter, well, then I've fallen. And this land and its people have been truly lost. Fear this letter, Father. For if you hold it in your hands, that means Satan and his minions are not far behind. Call upon the power of God and the might of men, and you bury this region. I thank you for your teachings and your wisdom. May God bless you and this fine nation. Your humble student, Captain Robert Shainer. Sun's up. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for they shall receive the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the ones who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the ones who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, 
for they will gain mercy. Blessed are the ones that are true in spirit, pure in heart, for they truly will see God. And blessed are the peacemakers and protectors, for they truly are the children of God. Amen. Keep your eyes forward, people. Cutting right or left? Cutting to the right. Why are you supposed to let itself get noticed? Still fear or just stupidity, I guess. Do we entertain fear or stupidity of any kind? Not in the slightest, sir. All right, remember, people. Call it by name. It's the only way to truly send it back to hell. State your name and purpose, stranger, or I'll shoot you down. Tell me your name and stand down. You have no idea who you're insulting, Paladin. Afternoon, Billis. Oh, no. Looks like you caught me off guard, Sheriff. About to make you wish you was back in hell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You think I'm scared of them bullets? We done and been down that road before, Sheriff. Hey, I'll tell you what. Just to keep you thinking I'm not pissed off or anything, how, how would you, you like, like a, a free, free shot? shot? Oh! You! Oh! <laughs> tell me your name and stand down. Asmodeus? Satan? Belfagor? Mammon? Mammon? Ah! Okay. 
Koso Masuki. How you, how you ready to do this? Our god packs quite a while, don't it, Billis? Can't believe you're fighting this hard. Just to save that hole of yours. I had it at least a dozen times myself. Archangel Michael, I pray to you to send upon this creature and cast him back into hell. Pointless creature in service of a pointless god. You should have prayed for a new eye. Mammon. <sighs> Gotta sever your brain from your heart. Then get it done. And while you're at it, I can tell you about all the ways I turned that person you are. You wanna hear a name? Sloth! Belphegar! Cease! Zero! Help! Gotcha! No authority here. I bind you in the name of Jesus. The Lord rebuke you and send you back to hell. Save my soul. Easier. I got him. Take care of Bubba. He don't do too good on his own. This is over. You gotta come back. Moving to the family land. Where's that? Shadowhawk. Wait, you can't be serious. I am serious. So, okay, wait, hold on. So even if they're possessed or undead, we still kill them? If they try to kill you, yes. Hassel and Clayton? Hassel and Clayton. What about Chan Sen? Chan Sen too. Even Claudia? Even Claudia, brother. Man, but what if she comes at me? I, I wouldn't even think to say a wrong word to her, let alone kill her. I mean, she made me cornbread soup for no reason. She did that for everybody. You know she'd ask you to do the same. Are you gonna hate me? No, I ain't gonna hate you. You know why? Because I don't think there's anybody on this planet that's got a more beautiful soul than my wife. And she'll go to heaven, I ain't worried about it. 
Yeah, well, maybe Captain Shaner and Pastor are right. Maybe, maybe all the possessed will go back to normal once we put all those demons back in hell. Yeah, I'm hoping that. Yeah. Hey, I bet that Belfagor fellow was just lying about what he did to Claudia so as to shoot your spirits. Yeah, I'm hoping that, too. You know, you really don't need to keep talking, Henry. Sorry, Sheriff. Don't call me Sheriff. entertainment is underway. A set stage. The light of fire. The ripping of flesh and bone! Ah! All right. I'm gonna cut to the right. Barney Bubba, I want you to go around the other side of the hotel and snipe from there. And Pastor, we're gonna give you all the time we can. You keep it tight. Understood. You only got so much ammo. Understood. You keep the pastor talking at all costs. Yes, sir. Let's bow our heads, boys. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He make me lie down in the green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads us in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we shall feel no evil. For thou art with us. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort us. Thou preparest a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Thou anoints our heads with oil, our cups run over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. Amen. 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 What the hell are we gonna do now? We're gonna keep walking in faith. We ain't gonna turn our backs till we get to that church. I knew you was gonna say that. I guess you also know we in God's hands now. Yeah, I know you're gonna say that too. And I hope you're right. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're held up in the church. Not all of them. Which ones? The big fella, Wedge, Beelzebub from the bar. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Most glorious Prince of Heavenly Armies, Saint Michael, Archangel, defend us in our battle against the principalities and the powers, against the rulers of the world of darkness, against the spirits of wickedness in the high place. Don't stop talking! Come to the assistance of men who God has created in his likeness, and whom he has redeemed at a great price from the tyranny of the devil. The Holy Church venerates you as her guardian, her protector, to you and has entrusted the souls of the redeemed to lead into heaven. beneath our feet, that he may no longer retain men captive to do injury to the church. We offer our prayers to the Most High, that without delay he may draw his mercy down upon us. <laughs> dragon, the old serpent, the devil, and Satan, bind him and cast him into the bottomless pit that he may no longer seduce the nations. Ah! 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 
me, bitch. I'm blessed by God. To hell with your precious God. <laughs> <laughs> side. Master, it's time to do the work of God. Are you good? Stay here. Well, what do you want to do? You stay behind me and you keep your head down. Sounds good to me. Needs help. Real bad. Cover the captain. Keep him still. Keep him still. Master, give me my rights. You hold on now. Sheriff Cyril Claudius upstairs. I, I couldn't bring myself to kill her. You're a good man, man. Party? <laughs> Did she? Yep. That ain't her brother. Cyril, you need to see this. Come face me, Cyril Johnson. Face the one who's taken your world from you. Your town, your best friend, your woman. Face the one who's gonna take your life, your soul, 
and the soul of everyone you hold dear. That's fear in his voice, Cyril. You stand in your face. Don't you dare back down. Deal with him? With oh. pleasure. <laughs> See you in hell. No, you won't. <laughs> Seduce the nations. Two things. One, you gonna need to take that off because only the sheriff's got the badge in Shadowhawk. And what, pray tell, is the second? We beseech thee to deliver us by power from the tyranny of the infernal spirits. Deign, O oh Lord, to grant us powerful protection to keep us safe and sound. Go ahead. Call the God. Do it. You think he hurt you? <laughs> Back the hell with you. We're gonna need a new god man in town. Jail's on fire, Henry. Well, what do you want me to do about it? You know where the bucket is.
what we're gonna do now, Cyril. It's Sheriff, Bubba. I'm gonna look in on my wife. I'm gonna help Henry with the jail. I know there's a chance there's still one out there. Yeah, I reckon he is. You think he's scared shitless? letter to inform you of the passing of Captain Robert P. Shainer. He fell in battle to the forces of evil about two hours after sundown on September 28, 1873. The peoples of Hatchet County are forever in his debt, as is, in my opinion, the great state of Virginia. Had it not been for his courage, I'm afraid you would be reading the other enclosed letter first and Satan would have ravaged our lands. I realize that what I'm saying may sound preposterous, I also realize that many would think me insane, but I plead with you as a man of God, please visit Hatchet County and help us seal the evil to hell once and for all. Consider this the final request of Captain Shane. This evil is strong, and if not handled properly, can re-manifest itself and wreak havoc once again. I wait anxiously for your reply. Until then, my deputies and I will keep a solid watch on Hatchet County and continue the fight in God's name. Sincerely, Sheriff Cyril H. Johnson. 